What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today I want to show you guys the unboxing and first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy FE that stands for Fan Edition 5G. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. Now recently I've been uh, wanting to get into more of reviewing some of the phones and maybe recommending you guys some of the phones that uh, are out there. Now, let's get into this. As you can see, the phone comes in a nice white box. You know, Samsung style. It has all the specs. It's a little matte finish with a little bit of hologram letters there so that it'll catch your eyes when you see it. Everything to make you, to make it look nice for you. Okay, let's see what we have in the box, guys. All right, we have a paper there that's a little stubborn doesn't want to get out uh, there we go now let's see this what is this let's say let's check it out let's put this to a side here all right let's open this little box here what do we have here oh all right i see it's like some paperwork some quick guide we don't need none of that so we're gonna put it back and we're just gonna put it to the side because we don't need this stuff. Oh, wait a minute, I do need this. This is a handy SIM ejector tool. Now that we're gonna set aside. Let's put all this paperwork in here and let's just move it to the side for now. All right, okay. All right, so we have the device itself here. Let me just, go, oh, wait, one at a time, one at a time. Let me just get the phone and put it to a side here for now. We'll get back to that right now real quick. Let me just see what's in the box. Okay, we do have our power brick here. And we also have what I'm assuming is the USB-C cable. And we have a little box that has nothing. It's just there to hold the power brick and the cable together. So it won't be bouncing around inside. All right, let's move that to a side and let's check out the power brick real quick. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is a 15 watt. I think it's 15 watt. Well, we'll see. And it is, uh, I think, a fast charging. It does say it there. Yep, adaptive fast charging. Okay. And here is the one and only the cable that you used to charge your phone with the USB-C cable so it's not that long but it's not too short it'll work let me just put this back in here and we'll continue with the little unboxing right off the bat guys I could tell you I'm digging it I am digging it look at this it's a nice, ooh, I like that sound of that. One more time, please. Mm, mm, mm. That sound is so sweet. Anyways, the phone has a flat screen. It doesn't have curved edges. So if you're into flat screen and you don't like the curved edges, you'll like this phone. Uh, first impressions right now, I actually do like the color. It's a matte finish. The fingerprints don't even, uh, you can't even see the fingerprints there. And I know it's uh, plastic, it's not glass, it's polycarbonate. I think that might be the reason why it feels so light. But I got to tell you, it doesn't feel cheap. It does not feel cheap at all. So let's boot it up real quick and uh, let's just, you know, go through the OS and see how, uh, how it is. Because I haven't used a Samsung phone in a long time. But before we do that, let me just put on my OnePlus 7 Pro next to it so you can see the difference. You can see curved edges, non-curved edges. That, to me, is not, is not a biggie. I don't care if they have curved edges or not. I dig both. But you can see that OnePlus is a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. But look at all the fingerprints on the OnePlus 7 Pro already. None on the Galaxy S20. Yeah. 
And uh, let me just, wow. There's a, the galaxy is really light and the other one has a nice heft to it. I don't know if it's a con or not. I mean, it depends on you. If you want a lighter phone, there you go. If you want a heavier phone, then you're not going to like that. But um, let's uh, let's see. Let's uh, log in here and uh, let's go through the OS real quick. But yeah, guys, um, besides doing all these custom ROMs, um, I want to kind of wider the range of products. Uh, I'm going to get into reviewing more technology. So you'll probably see more of these phones uh, reviews upcoming. Uh, so I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to try to get you guys all these new phones that are coming out, giving you my take, what I think about it, especially as a custom ROM enthusiast. What is my opinion on them? Hopefully some of these phones are, you know, easy to unlock the bootloader so that I could recommend them to you guys and give you guys my take on it. And hopefully I can help you guys decide whether to buy the phone or not. And like always, I'm going to pay out of my pocket, buy these phones outright so that I can give you my honest opinion. You know, I'm not asking for no review phones. I'm not asking for nobody to uh, lend me their phones. I'm going to be buying them myself. And uh, like I said, like I always give you my, my honest opinion. But you know what? Moving on here to the, to the phone, I can already tell you that this is why I don't like Samsung. Because look at all this extra bloatware. Why, oh why, Samsung? Look at all these apps pre-install. Look, I haven't even installed anything. <laughs> and look at all these apps already there. Oh, man. Look at this. Even Microsoft stuff? Come on, Samsung. Can I even uninstall this stuff? Oh, man. It says, can I disable that? Let me see. Mm. We're not starting on good terms, Samsung. I really hate this stuff. But it's okay. I'm going to go in there with an open mind. And we're going to give you an honest review. We're not going to you know, be biased towards anything. But right off the bat, I could tell you one thing. The screen, even though it's not Quad HD, it's really, really nice and sharp and vivid. Even, I, I gotta say, it's even better than the OnePlus 7 Pro. And I thought that one was a good screen. I believe this one is running 120 hertz, and uh, you could tell. All the animations are nice and fluid. The screen is really sharp, nice and vivid. Wow. I'm impressed, Samsung. I'm impressed. Now, hopefully, Samsung will keep their promise of three years of updates for every phone that they release now. Uh, and uh, that would be a good thing because. That was one of the reasons why I turned to custom moms when I used to have an, uh, you know, a Samsung phone. But if we check here, it seems to be on the latest, the One UI 2.5 and Android 10. So, hey, not bad. Not bad. There you go. See? We're on the latest of the latest. Hopefully, it stays that way. All right, let's see here. What else do we got? Okay. See, that's one of the things about Samsung. They change everything. So the phone feels really different to me. I, I don't even know what the stuff is that. I'm used to more of a pixel experience or Oxygen OS, you know, anything that's stock Android. But I'm not saying this is bad. I'm just saying that it's different. It feels foreign to me. 
But let's go ahead and see if we can make it more of a traditional AOSP. Oh, let's download this. This nice theme. And let's apply it. So look at that. We made it look better. Now it's not such a sore. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's take this off. Let's put it here. Let me take off this Google search bar that I hate having on my home screen. Oh, hold on real quick. Let me just take this off. Let me move that to the top. All right. You know, before we go, let me check out the fingerprint reader. Let me see. Oh, hold on. There we go. It's a... Uh, Ultrasonic, I believe. It's um pretty fast, but not as fast as the OnePlus 7 Pro. <clears throat> now, let me check out the camera real quick because I know Samsung is known for their cameras too. So let's see if they skimp on some of the on the camera on this phone. Let's zoom in real quick. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm impressed. Let me see the letters real quick. Ooh, wow. For their budget mid-range phone, this camera is really good. I would even have to say that it's better than the OnePlus 7 Pro camera. Wow. Well, guys, with all that being said, thank you so much for all the likes. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And um, guys, look out for the review. And thank you for everything. Bye.